Sometimes I want to pack up all my things and move away. Paris, London, maybe even LA. But it's not far enough, far enough, far enough for me. Yeah, it feels kind of tough. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Violet and in today's video I'm going to take Ash out to the Bruins racetrack because they have just recently put up some jumps we could try and um, yeah I'm just gonna take him see how he is out and about and probably you know maybe jump a bit bigger jumps around a meter and 20 today and they have a water jump so i th just thought you know what we're not gonna jump it today he's not there yet but i could just get him used to the feel of it so you can see we're gonna have some problems there um uh, there further on but please enjoy <laughs> enjoy the video okay so first we're gonna just brush him quickly i did give him a bath yesterday but if you don't know my horses yet, they use their poo as a pillow, a blanket, a bed. It's just pooey. I don't know. So then I put his head collar and, and travel boots on and we went to the trailer. So I've trailered him once in his whole lifetime and that was when... I picked him up and I actually don't know how he'll be because we're, we're going something somewhere new I never trailer him anywhere like that before so when I trailered him to my barn I I did um, it was just you know like a stable and I never trailer him anywhere new and especially because he's going jumping today so yeah over there they have the stalls and i'm just gonna quickly tuck him up in there so i'll see, see you guys when i'm tucking up today i decided to go with this beautiful eyes blue which I am sponsored by the company and I promise the sponsorship video is coming very soon we're just working on some stuff and then my black jumping saddle I also put on his boots but my camera went out of storage so didn't film that and lastly the bridle now we're just warming up and because I really want him to feel relaxed and really warm up before jumping as he never jumped this high before and I just want him to be as comfortable as possible I think he has jumped a max of one meter and today we're going to a meter and twenty 
Um, also, I think we're gonna jump one oxer today, um, that one right there, but nothing too much, so, uh, so we can go slowly and progress. When warming up, he was quite skeptical about these all of these fences, but when we got to this scanner point, I think he just let out his fears, and he was really good though. So this is the first jump we did. I collected him a bit more in before the jump, and he went over really nicely. He was like, uh, "What is that?" Uh, at first, but then. He jumped it really nicely, and this one was a lot nicer as well. Then we went to this pink one, and he really jumped it like really nice. And then on this yellow one, I kind of got him out of that collected canter, so he went a bit quicker over it. And yeah, this is we jumped that oxer there. He was quite skeptical about that one, not gonna lie. And I could really feel him struggling right there. But that, you know, that just makes me know what we have to work on and progress with him on that. Because I have realized when we were jumping today that these fences, like the, just normal ones, he could jump really high. But then with the oxers or a bit wider fences, he is kind of like closed up and doesn't expand his body. But we we can we could definitely work on that really well, and w with some training, like professional, maybe go on to some lessons. I think he, we can really get him up and running. And so this one again, I kind of collected him a bit just a little bit too little um, and then I decided to give give him a break and then continue he was really out of breath not gonna lie uh, he never like really went to an outing before especially with jumping I mean he jumped but still not like full-on courses like we did today but don't worry, I did not push him over his limits. We did a lot of breaks and then it was time and then we focused a bit more on that oxer. But he kind of, you know, got a bit too scary, kind of came up to an old ankle and he got it down. So you know what, we just stopped. So then we come to the water jump. So he kind of, he was not a big fan of that one. We, uh, so it was not my plan to jump in today in any kind through the water because he has never did an, a water jump. So I just thought, you know what, let's get him just, you know, used to how it looks like, maybe trot around it and see how he does. Uh, but it was never my intention to actually jump in today. Obviously, we're, we're taking things really slow, and I think here he just wa he thought I wanted him to get over, but I didn't, uh, so he got quite scared, and when the water splashed, he was just, oh my god, what is that? I don't like it, let's go, but I just thought, you know what, let's get him over that fear, so I've kept him, so we did another circle, another trot, just to let him calm down as that really, like, I don't know why, but it just calms him down, and and then we we went through through it again, and he just I decided to leave it, and now you can enjoy some slow motion videos. Isn't he just beautiful when he canters like that? And these are one of the last fences, so he really really went up and running through them. He flew literally flew i don't know maybe his dad was an astronaut i don't know he flew over these and now guys it's a bit later i have untacked him and it was t it's time to get back home so he was really good i think we just have to work a bit more on the vertical jumps 
uh, maybe some oxers and obviously the water jump. He did not like that water jump whatsoever and with, with some practice obviously we could get him up and running even through water jumps and if he is gonna be a shot jumper he, or a hunter jumper or any jump whatsoever he is gonna have to get used to the water now we're back home and it is a few hours later because i wrote angel also in our schooling pen just to kind of get her up and running again she had uh she had quite a few days off now so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you subscribed because it really does help me out and i really do do appreciate it and thank you guys so much for watching bye